Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the uh, Austria Germany review. I said it in previous videos, it was a dragon slaying weekend and Bayern def definitely didn't want to miss out on, on the action. So it's Frankfurt who with their first win of the season in the league. They won in the Europa League, so there's a second win in a row for them. And they do it in Munich at Bayern in a crazy game that we'll talk about. Unfortunately, the whole streak with the big giants losing didn't hold for Austria. We unfortunately didn't watch the game. Fortunately, there was Liverpool Man City, uh, which was a fabulous game. Watch more of my Premier League review uh, in that. So yeah, didn't watch that one. And I think it was better for that because it was one of those. I don't watch Lask Salzburg any, anymore because I know it, uh, Lask may tease you with their star style play and then Salzburg just slices them open left and right. That's again what happened. Uh, this as well. Yeah, uh, I, I would say we'll start in the Austrian Bundesliga. Um, Austria Vienna again losing to Wolfsburg. Ried and Klangfurt sharing the spoils. Uh, Hartberg, a big shock win. They were 2 0 up and 3 1 up uh, against Sturm Graz. Sturm Graz, who I think they've only lost to Salzburg so far. Now they lose in the Derby against Hartberg. Rapid in the duel 11th against 12th. Yes, 11th against 12th. So uh, second to last to last. Win it 5-2. It was a bit tedious. I think Tyrol even had the lead, but there are also goals disallowed for repeat, blah, 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 blah. Fans protesting, not being there uh, for a good portion at the beginning of the game. So, yeah, the Hütteldorf where Rapid is, is not very happy. And it was a Chelsea, but Salzburg lost. Salzburg had brilliant first 10, 10 minutes with two good chances and one header on the crossbar. Of course. And then Salzburg is going, ah, the image is missing, and then it just goes bang, 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 bang. Uh, I haven't even pulled up the, uh, to, to give you, I th who scored the goals for Salzburg. Here we have it. It was 2 0 to have me the second goal just before the death of the, uh, at the death of half two. Yeah, Capaldo in the night. It was a very nicely taken shot, I have to say, and Maxi Weber, ill defended. Then uh, the game in the 50th, and that was the game. Then, fortunately, Salzburg led off. I mean, Lask at least tried. I think it was over a positive performance and losing only 3 1. Michal, I think, at 2 1, actually, again hitting the crossbar. So, two, twice the bar, and then very little. Monshan gets a, a, a definitely nicely played goal. So, it was not all negative, but. Yeah, against Salzburg, you can lose. Salzburg actually quite impressive. They all games considered that they have played so far. They only dropped points against Sevilla in the Champions League, away from home, where they should, 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 should have won. I think they have now scored in 42 or three games in a row at home, equaling a, rec a, a, a record. It's the second time to start with 10 wins in the league, and we can already say now that they will be champions. The only reason why they are not quite yet uh, Crowned is because they slash the points in half. I mean, the Austria League, anyway, the table with Salzburg with 30, Sturm with 20, and then between third and eighth, it's eight to 13 points. It's all squished together, and if you get a win, you move up. If you lose, you move down, and so Lask finds itself in 10th. Altach and Tirol at the moment at the bottom, Rapid 11, Austria 11. So it's uh, three rather big teams, even Wolfsburg, who have, had, have, have been rather good uh, as, as of late, are uh, also below the line. So um, I'm curious how this will pan out, if the big teams will actually rise at the end to, 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 to the top, or if we really get to see uh, a very, very surprising uh, league overall. Uh, Germany, Köln continuing the great form against Greuther Fürth. Uh, of, of course, Dortmund, a very, very nasty win against uh, Augsburg without Haaland. Uh, yes, they did everything, control, blah, 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 but you know, the way they give up the goal uh, by Shakiri. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, Julian Brandt uh, scoring egg, actually quite an interesting goal, but they cannot pile, pile up. So, Dortmund is kind of this mixed bag. At least they are winning uh, at, at at the moment. Hertha losing another game, 2-1 at home to Freiburg. Freiburg doing quite well this season. Now they move 
after this international break, the next game will be in the new stadium. Philipp Lina, this looked like, like an own goal, but it was not. And then Peterson lay, lay, lay down after Piontek had given equalizer. Yeah, Piontek, Milan. He's not playing at Hertha. No, 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 not even starting. He just needed to be there for Milan for this little period where he scored like crazy and then ship him off. I think it was the better deal there. Stuttgart in a duel of, you know, what Hoffenheim is playing, the salmon pink jerseys. I was, anyway, Stuttgart was one of my favorite. I just wanted them to play them off the park, which they in a way did 3 1. Uh, it was 3 0 before uh, Hoff, Hoffenheim could pull one back. Wolfsburg Club Club it was a crazy star start to a game with uh, two goals by Mbolo and Hoffman scored in the fifth and the seventh hour, and the one by Mbolo really nicely uh, bicycle kick. Uh, after a nice free kick variant, and you thought it was offside, but then there was a Wolfsburg player out, out there. It's similar for uh, the second goal. You also thought that Mbolo had played um, Hofmann offside. No, it's just by friction, not. And so it's 2 0. But then the game could really, was, was really swinging. Waldschmidt pulled one back, and it was a really, really tight game where Wolfsburg just couldn't come convert the chances. It could have swung either, either way. It wasn't decided by. Uh, a late goal by Skelly when Stindl already had missed a penalty before that. Uh, Lacroix was then sent off. Wolfsburg and red cards. There was something this in in this week. Uh, was was a very very weird game, but I think it could have also ended in a draw. Leipzig getting a win against Bochum very very late. Jesse Marsh, I think, is not working for Le Leipzig. He might work better for another team. Mainz, a uh, surprise loss in a way to Union Berlin 2-1. Union Berlin is becoming the Berlin team now, which is funny. And then, of course, Frankfurt winning at Bayern. A game, Leo Goretzka gave a fully deserved lead in the 29th minute. Bayern playing Frankfurt off the park. It was just that a Kekke drop was standing on his head in many ways. And then... Right after the goal, a, a corner a kick by Kosic and Hinteregger uh, heads in. It is what water. The Bayern is chance after chance after chance. And really, Kevin Trump having the game of his life. And then Philip Kostic, uh, after Gibril saw, really intercepts. A, a Bayern had a clear, but he powers through and plays the ball out to call because he usually plays it very nicely to give Frankfurt a 2-1 win and so at least one last credit person Oliver Glasner the new Frankfurt coach gets a win um, say basically the same team that he he, he was coaching in with last uh, co-coach James now Frankfurt uh, famous win for Fra Frankfurt and you know after not winning so much, getting this win might actually set Frankfurt off. And in a duel of two of my favorite jerseys in Germany, Germany this season, I see Spire Leverkusen as a 4 0 winner. Um, overall, I gotta I got say it's still very much Bayern's league to lose, although Le Leverkusen, like Leadless, is up there. Dortmund, Freiburg is up there, but you know, uh, it's still very, very much tilted in Bayern's favor, everything. And Dortmund doesn't look convincing, and I don't trust Leverkusen either yet and we have to see if there's any other team that can uh, cause some trouble. So that was it for me from Austria and Germany. Please drop a line below if you have to add anything. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!